Hey guys, welcome to episode 42 of my climbing journey. We're jumping right into boulder 16 to see if I can send it while I'm fresh. I go for an early foot swap here to avoid moving out of the drop knee. But I end up falling on the next move. I immediately hop on the wall and mess up the drop knee. I was extremely frustrated at the start and hop back on. And I fall on the next move. I shift my focus on getting to the end from the drop knee. I fall on the very next move. This time, I'm able to make it to the end. I was surprised because this session was going pretty badly, so I decided to start from the beginning. After the drop knee, I focus on keeping my left foot on the hold and keeping my right foot stable. Unfortunately, I fall on the second to last move. Even though I fall in the second to last move again, these last two attempts felt really close. My left hand slips, but luckily I get the last hold with my right hand. I'm able to match, and I finally sent this boulder. It took me over 100 attempts, by far the most of any boulder I've tried so far. It was pretty sloppy, so I definitely want to come back and try to master it. It's kind of weird, but I felt obligated to finish this boulder. Probably the sunk cost fallacy or something. Sending it felt like a weight off my shoulders and I was free to project anything else. By the way, check out my shoes afterwards. I opened a huge hole on my right shoe because every time I did the second to last move, I was scraping my toe against the wall. I also opened a small hole in the left shoe. I'll probably keep these until I wear through the rubber on the soles. And they're so comfortable, I'm considering them for my second pair of shoes. I don't think my shoes are really holding me back, and if this is the wear after like three months of climbing, I'm probably not ready for higher performance shoes. Anyway, I move on to this blue V6. I get the hold out left, and then my right hand on the big hold.
I look for a way to bump my right hand and try using a little more momentum. I touch it, but can't hold it. This time, I try to find a way to position my feet so I can match on the big hole. I can't find it, so then I get my right foot into the crack and try to use this really tiny flat crimp on the bottom of the volume. It was a really tough position to hold though. Maybe I could get a left knee bar or something? This time, I tried getting my right toe in the crack and matching on the big hold. I fall, but the position didn't feel that bad. I try just the top part, and I'm able to get the match and bump my right hand. The next part seems really hard though. I tried getting a high left foot because I thought I'd be able to rock over it and mantle up or turn my left hip into the wall and just stand up, but it doesn't work out. While I was on the wall, the next hold just looked way too far to do it dynamically. This time, I use the down climbing handle to try and find a good position. The arete feels pretty good, so I try to get a drop knee and walk my hands up the arete, but I can't reach the next hole. Off camera, I tried more of the arete and high left foot beta, but nothing worked. Since the arete felt better on the blue problem, I tried the purple v5 again to see if I can get a drop knee and walk my hand up the arete. The foothold is so slippery that I can't get a good drop knee. But that's going to be the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!